If you want to install shaders for Minecraft in 2025, the easiest and fastest way possible with the most in-depth guide that you ever seen, this is the right video for you guys. I'm not only going to teach you how to install shaders for Minecraft, but you're going to have a pretty good understanding at the end of this video of what shaders are and what shader loaders are for Minecraft. Let's go ahead and begin. Now guys, before we begin, let me explain to you how we're going to install shaders. A common mistake that people make is that they think that to install shaders in Minecraft, all they need is the shaders and that's it. But you'll be wrong. You actually need a shader loader. There is multiple types of shader loaders, but the most popular ones are Iris shaders and Optifine, okay? These are two mods that you need to either add to your already pre-installed mod loader or manually install yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that in this video, okay? I'm gonna guide you through the process. Now for this specific video, I'm going to be using Optifine. However, you could also use Iris, which is a fabric based shader loader. Fabric is a mod loader that allows you to add mods into the game. And then shader loaders are a mod that allows you to add shaders into the game. I hope that's not too confusing. And like I said, Iris is based on Fabric and then Optifine is based on Forge, another mod loader, right? Now you don't have to worry about mod loaders in this video because we're not going to install the mod loader separately. We're actually going to install the shader loader by itself. So we're gonna play the game with no mods, just shaders. Okay, now if you want to install Optifine, like I'm going to do, click on the second link in the description that says Optifine. But if you want to install Iris, you could also do that and just follow along. It's pretty much the same steps, but instead of installing Optifine, you'll be installing Iris. Okay, now let's go ahead and install Optifine first, though, because that is the first step. You need Optifine in your computer to install shaders or Iris to install shaders, right? Some type of shader loader. Now, once you click on that second link, this is our written guide, very in depth on how to do this, but I'm going to make it super quick for you. Scroll down to step one, click on the Optifine button here. Here. that is going to redirect you over here where you could either click on show all versions and download the version that you want for your game make sure that it is the version that you want for your minecraft game in this case i'm going to be adding shaders to 1.21.4 in the future when you're watching this video you might have 1.22 just download the version that you want once you find that version you're gonna click download that is going to show you a quick five second ad in here you don't have to click anything guys just wait five seconds and after five seconds we're going to click on escape here on the top right of our screen right here and that is going to redirect you over here where we're finally going to hit that download button to begin the download of optifine our shader installer we need some type of shader i mean shader loader our shader loader installer because we do need some type of shader loader in our game Again, once you download that Optifine, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. You're gonna find it here on your recent downloads history on your browser, or you could probably also find it in your default downloads folder on your PC. Now, there we go, our file just downloaded. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Now we have Optifine, and if you pay attention, Optifine is actually a jar file, meaning that that is a file that needs Java on your computer. And I want you to pay attention to the next part because it's pretty important before we go ahead and install Optifine. When I go ahead and double click on this file to install Optifine, if you don't have Java installed on your computer and not just any java actually you need java 21 for any minecraft above minecraft 1.20.5 if you don't have that installed in your computer this file won't open so to install java 21 i left the guide in the description okay it's gonna be in the description of this video it's going to be labeled as java 21 but it's pretty easy to install java 21 because you will need it once you click on that guide let's scroll down to the step that says how to download java click in there that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to select java 21 you're going to select your os your operating system in this case it's windows for me and then you're going to download the x64 installer by clicking on that blue line that is how to download the installer of java and just like we did before with optifine you could drag it to your desktop and now you could just install it by double clicking on it that will prompt you with the administrator sign asking you if you want to allow java to run click yes and then over here on the installer just hit next a couple of times for java 21 to install and in no time you have java 21 it's actually quite easy okay let's go ahead and wait for this to finish now what java 21 installs if you need a minecraft server use that first link in the description and get 25 percent off with apex hosting apex hosting will help you create a server that supports over 200 mod packs that you could install with just a click of a button and have that server running in no time they also have locations all around the world so no matter where you or your friends are located you have a good connection and of course you could use your shaders here on your own server without getting in any trouble with anybody because it's your server i'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25 percent off and now let's keep going with the tutorial now as you can see java 21 just finished installing so we're gonna go ahead and hit close in here and we're gonna go ahead and delete the java installer because we don't need it anymore now we are ready to install our shader loader in this guys in this case it's going to be optifine now make sure that your game 
as well as your Minecraft launcher is closed. And if you downloaded a certain version of Optifine or Iris, make sure that you have played that version of the game at least once on your computer. For example, I'm going to install Optifine 1.21.4. So it is very important that I have played Minecraft 1.21.4 at least once on my computer to create an installation folder. Now, once you have done that, close your game and your launcher and go ahead and double click on the Optifine installer. Since we already installed Java 21, we shouldn't have any issues when installing Optifine. Now in here, we're going to go ahead and hit install one more time, unless you have a custom installation folder for Minecraft, which most of us don't. Most of us use the default installation folder. Once you hit install, within a couple of seconds, Optifine will be successfully installed and we can go ahead and delete the Optifine installer from our desktop, just like we did with the Java 21 installer. Now it's time to get some shaders. If you head over to the description of this video, you will see a link labeled as shaders, which is going to bring you to this page in here. In the moment that I'm making this video, which is the beginning of the year, there's only two shaders for 2025. But by the time you're watching this video, there's probably going to be multiple shaders for you to choose from. I'm going to be choosing complementary unbound shaders because they are pretty realistic and one of the community favorite shaders. You could, of course, choose any shader that you see in this link, right? If you want to do the same as me and use the same shaders as me, just choose the complementary inbound shaders. Once over here, you're going to see guides on how to install those shaders that you chose. But I'm telling you, you don't have to read through the whole thing. This is only for those of you that need the help. If you want to make it quick, just scroll down to step one and click on the shader button in here, which is going to redirect you to the download page where we're going to select the version of the shaders that matches our shader loader version. If you install Optifine 1.21.4, you guessed it, you have to download the shaders 1.21.4. Just look for that version in here and then click on these three dots and click download file. By the way, if for some reason, the Optifine that you install or the shader loader that you install is too new and they haven't updated the shader to match your new version of the game, don't worry. Sometimes you could download older versions and they will be compatible with newer versions of the game. So for Optifine 1.21.4, for example, I could probably download 1.21 or even 1.20 and I'll still be good. Now let's go ahead and hit these three dots, click download file, and within five seconds, our download will begin for our shaders, of course. Now the shader is going to download as a zip file and it is very important that you keep it as a zip file. I've seen some people that they unzip the folder and you don't have to unzip the folder. You're gonna keep it as a zip file. You're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop just like we did previously with the other files. Now, once we have the shaders in our desktop, let's go ahead and open our Minecraft launcher so I could teach you how to add these shaders into the game. Now, once your launcher opens, if you did everything correctly, you're gonna notice a different kind of Minecraft in here, which is your shader loader that you installed earlier. In my case, it's Optifine, but in yours, it could be Iris, which is totally fine. Some people actually prefer Iris over Optifine. Now, if you have the shader loaders in here, congratulations, you're following along pretty well. If you don't, just head over to installations and make sure that you have modded selected to be able to see all those modded versions of Minecraft. And if you still don't see the shader loader, just click on new installation and then on version, look for the shader loader that you install. In my case, it will be Optifine. So you will look for Optifine or Iris and then select it in there, name it whatever you want, and then just hit install here on the bottom. There we go. On the bottom left, you hit install and you'll create an instance of your shader loader. Now let's go ahead and launch the game so I could teach you how to add shaders into the game. Of course, you're going to launch it using the shader loader that you install. In my case, it's Optifine. You might get this prompt in here. Click that you understand the risk if you don't know what that is just go ahead and read more about player safety features and then hit play one more time for the game to open and once the game opens i'm going to teach you how to add shaders into minecraft now once the game opens let's go ahead and launch a single player world now you could do this on a multiplayer server of course as well now some servers won't allow you to use certain shaders in their servers because some shaders will give you an advantage like for example complementary unbound as you can see actually makes all the ores shiny some servers don't allow that they won't allow you to use certain shaders that is why i recommend that you create your own server using the first link in the description now once you're in the game mine already looks so beautiful and it already has shaders but to add the shaders if you don't have any shaders yet you're gonna press escape you're gonna head over to options and then if you install optifine you're gonna click on video settings and you're gonna see this menu in here if you install iris the menu is gonna look a little bit different but no matter which one you install you're gonna open the shaders option or the shader packs option if you're on iris that might be up here on the top on the right just look for shader or shader packs option in there click on it and that'll bring you to a similar screen to this one where you're gonna click on shaders folder even if you're on iris you do have that shaders packs folder in there go ahead and click on it and that is going to open this folder in here which most likely doesn't have any shaders yet but that is what we're about to add so you downloaded some shaders earlier in the step before this one and all you have to do now guys is select those shaders that zip file and add it into this folder i selected unbound 
But if you selected some other shaders, just go ahead and drag and drop those from your desktop into here and now head back into your Minecraft game. And you should see those shaders appear right here where you're going to go ahead and click them, wait a couple seconds for it to be selected. And then if you're using Iris, you're going to hit apply. If you're on Optifine, once you click on it, it's already applied. Just click on done back to the game and now we have the shaders added in minecraft in 2025 successfully we install optifine or some of you might have installed iris doesn't matter which one you install the game still looks beautiful but that is pretty much guys how to download and install shaders for minecraft in 2025 if this video helped you all don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye